Hey everybody, it's me, Midway Jobo here. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mark 6 Phantom CQB from Tactical Edge Hobbies. Let's get into it. So, opening the box here, a bit difficult because I'm dumb. But initially, inside the box, you have your blaster, your orange muzzle some accessories yeah your rear sight but I have already opened this so the rear sight's already on it and this Picatinny rail isn't another Picatinny rail here your safety glasses nothing too special um, I was actually kind of hoping with the price of this you'd actually get some decent safety glasses but no then you have your mag here. This is standard Genate mag, nothing special about it. Uh, hop hop, this doesn't come with it, it's just in a box because I don't know why. Some more sec accessories. Um, I actually don't know what part of blast of this goes on. So, you know. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's get into the interesting bit and main reason my guys all came here. The actual gel blaster. So, initially taking it out of the box, it has a pretty hefty weight to it, especially for something this small. Uh, I believe it weighs about two and a half kilos, so I may be wrong. Don't trust me on that. But apart from that, um, full metal construction, so the way it would be expected. Um, FPS is around about 250. Um, the reason for such a low FPS is because it um, is a CQB blaster. So it has a short barrel which affects the FPS and you don't want some, uh, hot, um, an FPS too high for CQB because most um, CQB um, places have the limit at 250. So yeah, um, another interesting thing about this is the mag release works on both sides. So um, you don't see that too often in gel blasting. Also the um, one thing I want to like let you guys know on is that the fast select is a bit stuffy. Um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, like it's not right now. That's like, so yeah, it's a bit stuffy, but it's on full order and don't really need anything else from it. Um, the internal gearbox is a full metal outer shell. Um, you can't really see it from here, but when you go into the mag well, you can kind of see it. I'm sure if you guys can. But yeah, you also get this, um, Muzz another muzzle with it, um, which um, makes the blaster louder. If you can see, it has a little like curvature, curvature, that's the word, which amplifies the sound of blaster, which is also quite interesting. The trigger, nothing too special, just um, a flat one. A uh, full metal. Um, well, I can never think of the word when I need it, can I? Full metal bolt, let's just call it that. Sounds awesome, very satisfying. The butt stock as well. Yep, it's also very satisfying to do. It's normally a bit better than that, but you know. Um, another hiccup on this blaster is that it only has one um, sling attachment. So nothing out front. So if you have, if you're a two point sling person like me, you can't really use it unless you um, find a second sling attachment on eBay or something, which I haven't yet because I'm lazy. Um, apart from that, most of the blast is metal, nylon here. Most of the back is nylon, apart from these aluminium things. We've got that. Also, another thing, I'm not sure if it's because I brought a battery with it. I, I was meant to get two batteries with it. I brought um, 
a battery separately than a blaster. Um, and I'm not sure if you're meant to get a battery with it, but I didn't. So I only have one battery. And the battery was actually too big for my buffer tube. But the thing that I've done with this, well, let's just keep that in there. Um, at this back thing here, you can actually pull this open. So for battery that's too big, you can kind of see a battery there. You can just fit it in because you can't put it in like through here because it also has some room here. So it gives you about enough room to put a normal average size 7 volt in there. Also, um, when you're buying a blaster, you have to um, make sure that the battery that you're getting has... One second, if I can get this open, there we go. Also, do not lose this pin, they do not sell spares. Uh, with the battery, they have these plugs and a blaster. So when you're getting a battery, you have to make sure that you have these um, connectors. I believe they're called mini something. It starts with a T, mini something. So yeah, just make sure you have that. And yeah, yeah, and also make sure you don't lose this um, pin because that would be very unfortunate. Apart from that, I would show you how to, I'll show you how to put these on. It's pretty simple, um, but yeah, I'll just be back in a second. Some orders. Now we're going to do two second bursts so you can see what we're buying. 